we got on stage? Stock I think that's Stock Jewel? Taker. And yes. So we've got Stock Jewel playing right now. Um, Jewel, you can usually tell because he's got... Um, oh, my God. I always forget the name of the show. It's something Neverland. Promise Neverland? Promise Neverland. He's always got the names for his tags now, uh, wow. which I assume Low is one of them. So Stock pulling out the Wii Fit on this one. Um, I honestly can't remember off the top of my head just how many characters Stock plays, but he's got a good grasp. I think he plays 69 of them. <laughs> so, uh, I'm interested as to why he picked Wii Fit in particular. If it was just something he's doing today, I was talking with Louie Jesus and he was saying that, um, Stock has been playing Wii Fit today. Um, I mean, it's a low attendance tournament. It's a good time to practice new characters. That's a fair point. Alright, gets a little aggressive with the Thunder and jumps right into... Man, even with the... That was, that was an interesting interaction. That was an interesting interaction. Volleyball saved his life, even if he got a little extra percent off of it. Is it a volleyball? Is it a soccer ball? Is it a medicine ball? It's very vague. You know, I, I want to say volleyball because she spikes it, but it does look like a soccer ball. All right. That actually uh, ate the projectile there, it looked like. Either that or that was really good timing. I think they're both... Re I think it just... It's like how dark, uh, Charge Shot beats a lot of projectiles, just by being bigger. The same rules apply. <laughs> Ooh, nice use of, like, up tilt into up smash aerial on Levin Sword. Good chase. Air dodges down to the ground. Ooh, the aerial. pressure oh. using uh, the Z-drop Levin Sword is really nice. I'm always kind of shook when Robins do that to me. <laughs> Actually running through Levin a little bit right now, throwing out a lot of aerials I think here. he's trying to make it an item. I think he's literally doing it on purpose. That would look, uh, that would make a lot of sense, honestly. Um, in although a lot of interesting projectile trades. I'm interesting as to why he would want it that, because Levin's sword, very strong kill option, nearly gets killed off the side himself with that. All right, rolls through. Ooh, the still berry, but he gets out of it. Nice mash. Mm -hmm. I know it's not a very strong berry, but it's still a nice mash. And All not right. panicking. Catches the arc fire. That's fine. Tosses the whole book. There it is again. I'm amazed he did not die to that at 140. I think it's just stale. Uh, stale. That'll get him. Stale, and you have to remember that deep breathing, especially now that it has a lowered cooldown, does a lot for Wii Fits. Yeah, deep breathing is limit. Yes. Limit that's up basically all the time if you get the chance to put it. Thoron Chase, very nice. Mm, that's stock given the nod, the respect for yeah. that setup. See, he, that's... Yeah, sorry. What, what I'm saying is they're both playing characters whose projectiles set up into other projectiles, mm. which leads to a lot of funny interactions where those projectiles just kind of bounce off each other. Absolutely. Uh, but I think it's a case of game-recognized game. For sure. And then for that setup specifically... Um, Wii Fit's recovery is not particularly fast, and most of the time, if you want to stall with Wii Fit, it keeps you in place. So the only option he had there was to air dodge, which meant he would have been vulnerable to Jules Edge All right. So, checkmate scenario. All right, trades. <laughs> Volleyball versus Thunder. And uh, Wii Fit's crouch, you'll see Stock Taker yeah. doing that a lot, is a very good option. Honestly, he's not doing it enough. Yeah, low pro uh, profile, super valuable, but Jewel will probably tell you, um, Arc fire is is the big uh, oh anti low profile thing yeah for yes. sure not just anti low is that gonna do it oh my god uh, I think he literally didn't have the eleven sword the eleven sword he could have down smashed covered the roll and popped shield maybe but can we get a replay <laughs> hold on somebody so right around here what's his eleven sword okay. Uh, oh, maybe yeah, that was a looks, misinput. It looked like he was kind of late to that. Um, if he had gotten there early, he may have been able to get something off of that, but uh, Arc Thunder on shield does not last very long. All right, going into game two, returning to PS2 with this particular route music on. Uh, sort of a... Uh, how would you say? A mixed reception amongst the people here at Xeno, but a favorite of... Jewel and some I know others. John likes this. John, uh, I actually didn't know he likes this one. He's talking to me about it. <laughs> Spacing out, good crouch. That is a big thing about this. Crouch has no delay on the animation, so I, crouch is... I remember John did a lot with Wii Fit Crouch to um, uh, avoid a lot of projectiles that might, you know, threaten his camping ability. That looked like a misinput for a uh, B-reverse there on the Thunder. Yeah. B-reverses are so finicky in this game. 
I mean, in all games, it's a tricky input. But people make a bet a lot on getting them correct. Especially Jewel, who uh, utilizes them really heavily, uh, wave bouncing B reverses for his movement, uh, which is how he plays particularly tricky at the mid range. <coughs> that looking like a snake up tilt. Oh, oh, that refit tilt made me sick. I, I couldn't handle it. <laughs> how about some deep breathing? Might make yeah, me feel better. Here. There we go. Speaking of deep breathing, um, sitting behind in the stock and gradually climbing in percent. Oh my god, he was there in time. That looked like a jump cancel up smash, which may have given him just the distance he needed. Man, jump cancel that. up smash used to be so easy, and now you have to try extra hard to do it. <laughs> it's still useful though, even oh, if the spacing's still very useful. Even if the spacing's only so much. Uh okay, ambiguous cross up on there, but Stock Taker does get the grab out of that. And he Medicine gets ball. Blocked. He gets sniped. We are playing dead or alive volleyball. You can't look at the girl, you gotta look at the volleyball. That's the that's the strat, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Falling up air? That okay. That was like fifty percent? Yes. Off an interaction. That's almost like Palatina numbers. Yes. Uh falling up air with Levin Sword is the starter if you're Robin. It's always in fashion, always in season. Well, falling up air for a lot of Fire Emblem characters. Very true. A lot of Robin's specials can kind of don't... Robin's specials being so different makes you forget that they're still a Fire Emblem character. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Definitely... I'm not sure that there's an argument that can be made that Robin isn't the most unique Fire Emblem character. For oh, me, certainly. But, uh, actually could have converted off that. Try to get a back air, but I just don't think just it was off. anticipated. <laughs> Alright, good reaction on Here's that one. Here's the crazy thing, though, right? Mm -hmm. If at any point... If, if Jewel takes this stock and then can get we fit off stage even even once, Arc Fire at Ledge could have been really oppressive. It could have. But it's not because he's dead. See, the problem, right, is that we're talking about getting Jewel and getting Stock Taker off stage. When Stock Taker was getting Jewel just off the setup, he said, no. I'll see you in Losers. <laughs> 